But can I just say that I'm really excited about hearing more about millennials because I am one. Here to tell us more. Thank you. Millennial shout out is Matt Houston. Let's give him a welcome, guys. Appreciate you. Hi. I love this emoji. Not because it's yellow and it's smiling and bald like me, but it's because it's so excited to see some great people. There's great talent in this room. My name is Matt Houston, and for the past 10 years, I've been a part of organizations that help this city. They're, I'm typically the youngest person, so mostly I get these people who have this perplexed look when they see me in the boardroom. Who is this guy? He knows nothing. Why in the world is this millennial in this room? They have a miseducation of what a millennial is. That's what I want to speak to you today, the miseducation of the millennial. The way we can combine our talents and the horsepower of millennials can change the world today. Bam, there's the, there's the slide. I am a millennial. Millennials are people who use technology who solve problems. Whether, where, whether you find out where's the best happy hour or the best work solution, we know how to get the answer. The problem is, when this happens, haters come across. Hi, haters. Haters from the past, haters from who are intimidated in the future, and it causes me, as a millennial, to try to reform, to revert either back to my millennial ways, narcissistic, entitled, a brat, or do something that I aspire to be um, for this city, and that's a bridge builder. So what I want to do, is give people a reason to be, to be able to bridge the building blocks of Dallas so that we millennials, the horsepower, can understand and learn the policies to change this city. The problem is, once we're in the boardroom, people love to argue. Everyone thinks they are right. And that's very frustrating because no work gets done. In fact, what happens is that there's this force between young people and old people to see who is right. Forget trying to work together. People want to just figure out how can we keep our own possessions. If we work together, we're able to build this society because we need each other. And so with that, I want to figure out how in the world can millennials and how in the world can younger, can the silent generation, the baby boomers, the Gen Xs work together? I have four C's that I want to be able to tell you. The first C is to contemplate. We have to think things out. Millennials is really good for thinking, uh, particularly because we process things so fast. So as we think, we're able to help um, solve problems. The second thing is to communicate. Once you've thought the process out, talk to someone outside of your generation so that you make things work. The third thing that I want to talk about once you communicate is you need to cooperate. As you cooperate together, you are able to ball all of your energies into a fist and strike a mighty blow. Which leads me to the fourth thing, which is to actually complete a job. Most people think millennials don't know how to complete anything. We're so all over the place, we never complete tasks. Well, if all of us work together, we can complete it. Now, I'm not trying to make this a kumbaya speech. I don't want this, uh, oh, we're all in this together. That's cool. No, I'm in business. I'm about results. So we need to use all of these tools to achieve, we need to have results, we need to have achievement. Because once we're able to implement these types of practices, we're not, a, we're not only going to be able to help society, but we're helping our families and we're helping our future. And so for the next couple minutes or a couple seconds, I want you to think about our future. These are college students who are ready and able uh, to be able to take the mantle of leadership in this city. But they are looking to us 
to work together to provide the grounds. For if we don't do that correctly, we will face the end. Thank you all very much. I appreciate you. And as you get your glass of wine tonight, enjoy, communicate, cooperate, and let's complete tasks. Thanks. Thank you, sir.